the mammoth is loaded up with people, equipment, and the heavy weapon platform. So we will bang out this very small quick. I never did loadouts for people. Uh, bang out this very small quick for a bit of sort of training for people, I guess. Mm, you were Team Rocket, but like your weight is like terrible though. Jeez, I need like 42. Hold on, clear everybody. 42 weight with a heavy armor to be Team Rocket. Right, so Team Rocket, you're not going to have heavy armor, but the heavy armor people already have good strength. So, it's not so easy. I'm not sure if we can have Team Rocket, really. Luke is that with just the one reload. And then, uh, Rogue with just the one reload. There we go. Otherwise, just pistol, stun rod. I did take off also the... Uh, rifles for just the machine guns. I found myself liking the machine guns a lot more than the rifle. So, that is what it is. You would be a good pistol. If only. Take off the smoke then. And then there's the med kit. And technically none of you need flares because we got this during the day. But oh well. First turn. We're basically already in the corner, so we'll just end the first turn. And then tank off. Okay. Oh, that's a hedge there. Oh, look at that. Okay, it seems like we're pretty clear. We can get off. Oh, hey, yeah, space bar works as well for the night vision. Kind of. Nice reaction. Well done. Man, that re you really spooked you, didn't he? <laughs> wow. Two inland alloys, another power source, a small scout canister, 49 score. Well done, Ezra die. Four 10 minutes, four seven, one reaction, one firing accuracy. Excellent. Alien dies despite best attempts to save it. Yeah, I don't think, I don't think we'd be able to bring it back anyway, but good try everybody. Good CPRing, Varathan, Sergeant, Leva, Captain, Nezradai, Sergeant. Med kits are finished up, so we can then. I'm only a little curious in the incendiary grenade. I'm not so sure about it. I think we're maybe okay to make some money. One forty-seven. 146. 187, I think, is best for now. That requires actual materials. 144. Yeah, it's not... It's not great. But hey. It's still money. It keeps them busy. I'm a little surprised that they were able to finish all of that within the month. It felt like it was a lot of work. <laughs> Worked out okay, though. Sonic Sectoid Corpse. Excellent. <laughs> Let's do the small... Power Source finally. You now scavenge corpse for the Sonic Sectoid. Ah, I see. Rip them to shreds. And the workshop's done. Not that I needed the workshop. 40 space available. Uh, living space. Ah, living quarters is also done. Fantastic. So we can dismantle these living quarters then. And we'll still have plenty of space for not scientists. Some workshop dudes. I'll pick up another 15. It's not a lot, I know. I did put... Okay, good, I put people in training. Phew. 
I'm not so hyped about having two radar systems. Typically, these don't, uh, they don't work together, but like a large and a standard wood. Uh, like the proc, cause like the, the buildings rolled independently. But, uh, oh, okay. It tells you right here. Does increase the chance of detection if I build more of the same type of radar. So we have effectively have a 20% chance of detection. I could rip one out for a little more uh, space. We could also see about building a base that does a little more detection. Maybe next month we can do that. Oof. Uh, it could even just be like right next door, kind of. Right there. Uh, they'd be like living quarters with radar, the scientists, a touch of storage, and like some dudes for defense or something. Or maybe just like a dude for defense and a bunch of security surrounding the access left to no, no hangers, you know? It's kind of what I'm thinking a little bit. It's largely just automated defense in case it does get attacked, but I don't have to have the living space set up or equipment for soldiers there, so it can really just be... You know. Um, How much money do I have now? What's my funding like? Ooh, okay. Central Asia. Scanner Asia. Access lift. Hmm. Corner would technically be quite handy, but I can get more of a security surround and pick on them for more angles if we put it a little more centered. Let's go for there. Security stations, not the most expensive thing ever. But we can do a... Yeah, large living quarters is huge. But 125. It's way more efficient. Well, not way more efficient, but quite a bit more efficient. Cost-wise, it's not more efficient. At all. It's cheaper to go with four living quarters. You get more people out of the large living quarters. So, for the start, we'd be going just living quarters. Laboratory-wise, probably... 125 scientists, probably the same deal. Technically costs more. I don't think space is a premium here, so we can go for individual laboratories. Missile defense system, I don't think will help much. Need a total defense strength of at least 500 in order to reliably shoot down smaller retaliation craft. 250. So, two of them to reliably do it. Smaller retaliation craft. I should probably get some defense systems then if that's the case. Dagnabbit. Empty rooms for now though. And we can build this out later. But I thought just also having security on the flanks as well. And then we can do like a corridor. <laughs> nice, I can queue it up. That's really handy. I'll leave it be for now. Just something basic, a couple securities. And a scanner. Although, we'd probably be going with a large scanner, so... Like, large scanner, large scanner, something like that. Large radar, rather. 1.8 million, 72,000 maintenance cost. 
much bigger radius, which is why I want it, with also a pretty good chance. So two of those pretty reliably detect stuff that crosses through. I think that's... I think that's the way I'll do it. And then we can build it out to be also a research hub later, when that becomes a little more necessary. EU3 laboratories done. Right, I never picked up the scientists. 25 space available, we got the room for it. Don't have the money for it though, so I'll go for 15, spending most of our money here. I hope our expenses aren't too astronomical here at the month end. It's been largely a positive month, I would think. Yeah. Yeah, all right. 578 monthly rating, only okay. They're very pleased. Everybody's happy you have increased funding. Increase of almost a million bucks, bringing us up to 9.9 .9 million income with a performance bonus of $144,500. Doesn't sound like much. But down the road when we're taking out like bases and larges and stuff like that, it's probably quite a lot. Okay. Very nice. Brings us up to 5.4 million. I feel like I've got a lot of money. I picked up how many people? 15. So 10 more scientists. And uh, engineers we could also have more of. 25 space available. I'll pick up 10 more of them. I don't want to pick up one dude per space because some of the larger construction projects also take space, like making ships and such. So I'd like to not worry about that. Base defense missiles, yeah, you know. Hmm, that was where the old living quarters were. If you're wondering, are we okay still on space? Yeah, plenty. Plenty of space, no alien containment, no defense strength. I'm gonna pick up another training center I would like. What's the barracks? I was in train up to five. Plenty of space for soldier equipment as well. Oh, that's exactly what I want over here. A the little barracks. That's perfect. Can I queue that up now? Or a large barracks if you're like actually not sure what you want. 25 soldiers for housing and training. Ample space for equipment as well as minimum on-site medical facilities. Okay. A base whew, a basic barracks will be whew, God, that's expensive though. 225. 10,000 maintenance though. Like, I'm largely going to be rocking automated defense. Right. Uh, I guess I could also get a hangar over here for, like, interception craft. God, at, at what point does this just become a normal base, though? Oh, may as well, while we're at it, throw this in. Uh -huh. The basic lab. And large living quarters. Um, there. That'll be fine. They still got to go through a defense room to get to it. And large radar system being 1.8 million. We got our work cut out for us money-wise. I feel like we had a lot of money, but man, does that go fast sometimes. <laughs> Goes really fast when you're not, uh paying too much attention to how much you're expanding. Any yeah, scientists, scientists, engineers, yeah, okay. Very small, very low, east going 500. Hmm. Temptation to send the Sky Raider. That way we can down it and do the mission straight away, but... Eh. Interceptor, I'll be fine. Oh, you're a fighty fight, are you? Okay, then. <laughs> Get out of here! Crash landed. What a fighter craft. 
Wow. Okay, so that's a thing too. Man, terrifying. All right, though. Uh, Mammoth is still... Yeah, Mammoth is still set up. Let's do it. Crash site number three. Mm, yeah, normal crash site thing. Equipment-wise... Looks good. Door. That door. All right, buddy. There he is. Mr. D. Yeah. Okay. Courts then. Okay. Uh... Nice. There is more, though. Mr. T hit that wall. Also, Luke is dead. And Butters, sure. Okay, there's their craft. It doesn't look terribly damaged. It courts out on this wheel well as well, just in case somebody's hanging out by the sandbags. And sure, Ezra die beneath the ramp a bit. Are you just hanging out, like, inside the ship somewhere? I think it might be. You are! With a little pistol. Battle tank, look out. I'm gonna destroy the ship! Gonna take the shot! God damn it, people. <laughs> Come on, Butters! Aim shot 44. <sighs> Bug hunt mode. <laughs> Already? Okay. That's the tank. That's a wall. Butters. What the f- Not Luke is dead. There. UFO navigation. Good thing I didn't blow that up. UFO plasma emitter. UFO plasma array. Two small pop. Okay, it's a really good thing that rocket didn't hit. I'm gonna say you knew better than to follow orders, and you you missed on purpose. And I'm proud of you, I guess. Patroller data canister. All right. Grats, courts. Sergeant courts. That went pretty all right. Stuff, 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 stuff. The small power source going average. Gonna be a little while. I will queue up alien alloys. We'll leave it at that for now. I think that's a fairly okay queue. We should have those 10 people coming in very soon. Very soon. 18 hours. Ooh. Get the Sky Raider out there, too. Ooh. 
For medium. I don't know if I can beat up a medium. We'd have to draw it in pretty close. That's the Sky Raider, right? Yeah, you just hang out there a minute. Lighting Sight Sunrise. Ah, nah, that's fine. That, that, that's okay. Mammoth. New target. The Lightning Sight. That's okay. I was gonna wait until day proper, but... It's nothing that I've downed. It's just landed, so let's just do it now. And we're in the corner. Chum. Poof. Just a pistol. Yeah. <laughs> nice. <laughs> uh, okay. <laughs> Just did that for score, basically. Let's follow it a bit. You've got, uh, you got like a shield thing too. Uh, that sounds annoying. Okay, yeah, that hurts. That hurts a lot. Disengage. <laughs> At first I was like, ah, actually, that's not that bad. And then it was really bad. <laughs> okay. Well, I don't think... I don't think we did enough for you to actually land. But you've landed, so here we go. <sighs> and right off the bat... We got... Sectors. Okay. We kind of have to handle them. Now-ish? Maybe not, actually. They don't see Neophyte, so let's get the smoke out with Neophyte. And because I'm not... A hundred percent sure. Gonna get some smoke up in here too. So he's just standing outside. This dude's at the window. Looking our direction. Yeah, that's a wall there. Well, face the ship. I'm a little afraid to try to take the shot. I'm not sure what angle this dude's got. <laughs> Rogue! <laughs> Let's end turn before more bad happens. <laughs> Rogue. Oh. <laughs> I don't I don't think we lost any equipment in that. Oh man. Okay, there's a dude in there too. Are I'll scoot to the side and look up, maybe. So I didn't get a good look at down here either. Maybe we're fine. With a hedge here, we're sort of fine. I'm not the biggest fan of having the ship door right there. But technically, I can make a little smoke screen and just work my way in. There's 
a possibility for that. Okay, yeah, they're shooting the tank now. There is a side door. Tanks got shot in the side a couple times. It's almost down. Oh, goodness, there's a bunch. Okay. Rogue? Nice! And then... Mr. D. Ooh, there's one there, too. There was one there. Oh, that would have been great. I'd... Ezra die, watch our flank. Koritz, I'd like to have you look up to the door, but... Mm. Did you bounce it off the wing? I got it. I found it. Uh, thank you, Neophyte. Whew. Doing a cool power slide down the ramp, like, oh shit! And they tried to catch it as it fell off the, off the wing after bouncing off, and didn't quite get it, but pretty close. Damn, good try. I I was hoping you'd use the machine gun, but I forgot which arm is used for reaction fire. That's all right. No, okay, not there anymore. Still went inside this building too. Somewhere, rogue, back on the ship. Ezra die, I'm gonna move up with you. There's still one inside the barn. I'm not too sure about setting up reaction fire for it. Didn't really do enough to injure him, I think. Man, I don't like Mr. D's spot at all. Okay, and then we got a bunch of unarmored folks ready to disembark. Tremendous. Alright, we got a little breach in the wall. That makes it a little bit easier to see in, at least. Okay. They're a little bit of a risk for mutual surprise sitting there just staring at the door. Really not a fan of that. I gotta get down and around to take out the dude who's inside there so that we can approach this from a better angle or you guys take out this barn and we approach it from this angle. I'm not sure if they'll have another door up there. I think that's probably the better route to go for now. Get another smoke over there just to... I don't know. I never learned really how smoke works.
so I just blanket everything in smoke and eventually it'll be enough. Okay, no... Is there a door? I don't think that's a door. Don't think there's a door there. Ah, 22 strength. I was thinking about getting a grenade up there to break the fence so we can approach it a, a little bit better. That's a that's a tough target. All right. Ooh, a little bit of reaction fire happening. I think it hit him in the side of the head. Didn't bring him down. Second shot hits. He's dead. He's out of here. Good work, Mr. D. Holding him down. Go wide. And then go aggressive. <sighs> We've got you basically surrounded. But don't come out, please. Not yet. <laughs> Get ecliptics out there. And also Banshee us at this wheel well. Good shot. All right. Wide around to check the backyard. Butters. Watch our back. Money bottom skewed up a bit. Ecliptic's ready to head in. And we're going to start... Fanning around to the right, getting away from that front door. Or side door? I'm not really sure which side's the front and which side's not. Maybe it doesn't matter. Because I'm not sure what's going on upstairs. Oops, that's too high. That's not it. That's the one. That's the stuff. Okay, we're not seeing a whole lot. I guess that's the dude that we saw in there. It seems clear up there. It seems pretty fine out here. So then we can in through this way. Team Rocket, hang tight. Mr. D needs a little more smoke. Just drop it there. It's fine. Because I'm not fully convinced this way is clear, but I don't really have the folks to get out there and find out for certain. You know, they're just breathing in a bit of smoke. They'll pass out eventually. We still get in their money bottoms. Okay. We're clear. Officially. Yeah. Okay. And I'm hoping that's not a door. If it is, it's very well disguised some, behind some machinery. And I feel like that ought to be an OSHA violation for blocking an exit. I'm positive that would be considered a fire exit. And I don't think it's okay to have like a cool power armor frame hanger thing there. I don't think that's right. Ecliptic sneak round back. Okay. We'll get Neophyte round back too. 
money bottoms. Ezra die. And quartz. What a run. Take the opportunity to clear this out as well while we were on the corner. I would think it's clear. Exactly how that works. Let's mm, get you back on for now. I know exactly what'll happen otherwise. You'll be like, oh my god, somebody walked through the door. Miss hit the wall and take three people out. I mean, itchy trigger fingers. It's a part of Team Rocket, but at some point, enough's enough. Through the window. Take that, alien. Okay. Not a horrible breach, I think. That is straightforward, really. Are you just a fun carpet? Looks like it. There is an opening here. Just a doorway that just falls off. It's kind of also not great for OSHA purposes. A little unsafe, no handrail, you know. Someone should really teach these guys a lesson. Okay, we're... We're fine here for now. You can get a bit closer. Are we forgetting anybody out here? I feel like I've left someone in the smoke. Ah, Neophyte up there. Who was coming around? Ah, yeah, you can keep coming around. Oop. <clears throat> oh my god! <laughs> Got him! Navigator, huh? You killed him! <laughs> Alright, well, good shooting, everybody. Well done. <laughs> full auto fire from, like, three different angles. <laughs> Yeesh. Yeah. Okay, so... I'm not sure how elevators work in this pack. Sometimes you can stand on an elevator to clog it up, so they can't really do a whole lot. Other times, uh, you can shoot through it diagonally. Other times you can shoot through it vertically. I think I prefer Banshee as being on this side. Here's another one. I think he had like a stun launcher of some form. Okay, we lost the tank, unfortunately. It got lit up from all sides, but it did a pretty okay job soaking. It allows me to be a little more reckless with my scouting and aggressive with my scouting without having to really care too much because tanks don't really have, like, stats to level. Eight kills, nine corpses. 
25 artifacts. Power source navigation, food, surgery, alloys. Deuterium fuel pods. Plasma emitters, plasma arrays, a shield emitter, harvester data core, and a bunch of lyrium. That was a pretty good mission. 511 rating. Look at those stat ups. Very nice. And yeah, yeah, alien dies despite best attempts to save. Yeah, we need just containment, I'm, I'm pretty sure. I thought maybe containment isn't a thing yet, and there's a chance that you can bring them back alive regardless. Wouldn't know how that works. Four hundred twenty thousand for a tank. Yeah, nah. Pass. <laughs> Pass on that. We'll uh. Maybe, maybe we add this to the docket as well, Guardian and Assault Tanks, and we'll take a look and see. Maybe I give him a go. It, it seems like this is... We're not in the territory of your tank is still gonna get just straight up one shot because lol. Maybe they're still fairly useful, maybe they've got like, uh, tools and attachments on them. We'll investigate. I'm not sure what to expect out of this mod, so if, um... Not, not really sure what to expect out of this mod yet, because so far, it's been pretty pleasant. Mm, it seems like it was pretty well thought through and there's options available for like a lot of different ways to handle it. So maybe the tanks are a little more advanced than just, uh, I'm just a big two by two unit that walks around. We were okay for ammo still, right? Yeah, all right. 